Yeah. We have a trade. We have a trade that just happened. Uh, the we have Fontecchio one. Yes. I already we said have, this, Fred. Yeah, we talked about this. We had wow, a great long, for uh, out. 14 second Jeez. segment on it that was uh, we need <laughs> we need we need to address this. We need to address this. If he we says something about, about Danny how Ainge and Utah. If, if he says something you, about Utah. how Utah this means Utah is gonna like maybe uh, you sell some pieces off, then we know he wasn't listening. Fred, but, if we can't get a, if we can't get a, a co-host to lock in, how are we gonna get the listeners to lock in? Just hear me out. There's there's something to discuss here. Detroit is sending Washington, the better of Washington's or Memphis's second round pick to Utah for this. That pick, that might be like the 32nd, 33rd pick in the draft. That's a really, really good second rounder. If Fontecchio, and it's just Kevin Knox and, and the 2024 second. So it's really just salary filler. If, if Fontecchio on an expiring, when you're going to have to pay him, in restricted free agency next year. Maybe not some ginormous number, but you'll have to pay him whatever the market dictates he's worth. It's not going to be super team friendly in all likelihood. He's probably just going to get what he wor he's worth fairly. If Fontecchio is commanding basically as good of a second round pick as you're going to get, then I think we're going to start to see maybe first round picks change in value. Like it's going to be hard now for someone who wants to trade to Bruce for Bruce Brown to be like, okay, well, we don't want to give up a first. I think Toronto's going to be like, well, Utah just got like the 31st, 32nd, 33rd pick in the draft coming up for Fontecchio. So like, I think I think maybe this is what could push some stuff well, over the edge. It seems to be like, well, that's what it's dictating now. Why did Detroit make that trade? Yeah, there's that <laughs> question too. Bigger. Well, they need, they need shooting. Lord no, knows. what they need is a twenty, is a thirty they second pick in a draft. Is there exactly? Like they don't. A rebuild, but, I mean, but. look, I'm, let's just base it on 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 James Edwards' reporting that that the Pistons have sixty what? million in room this upcoming summer, and they don't. They might give use it to it. you, Fred Katz. They don't want to use it just to take in bad contracts and get draft picks for it. They tried to do that the last two summers. And for what it's worth, the types of contracts they got in, the draft compensation they got back was not really anything worthwhile. It's not like they were getting firsts. They were taking on like Joe Harris and 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 getting a second out of it and that kind of stuff. They were taking on Alec Burks and New Orleans Noel and getting a second out of it. Uh, they, it wasn't really anything that was needle moving to begin with. And they seem like they want to get better from where they are. Now, I think Pro the most likely scenario is them getting better from where they are, but being like a 20 some odd win team and potentially sacrificing your future in order to just win 20 some odd games. But I think that's why Detroit Detroit did it. Uh, Fontecchio also, it should be said like second year, he's actually a really quality player. He's a good shooter, yeah. good wing, but he's 28. Like he, he, it's not like he's, you know, 22. Let's just think, like, uh, like this trade makes more sense for, I don't know, a team in the playoffs. <laughs> like a team that's yeah. Not also, also, you want to you want to have a good catch and shoot guy who can help your offense. Maybe play Marcus Sasser more than six seconds a game, Ooh. who's shooting forty like some odd percent from three, and 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 is a rookie having a really good year and legitimately looks like he's going to be a player. Maybe maybe play him more than more than sixteen seconds a game. Maybe try that before you give up a really good second round pick. Anyway, I just I could see that affecting the market to a degree. I don't know what that trade says about Utah. Cause I just feel like that that's really good return. That, that trade to me, like I said earlier, says like Utah selling, you know, 